Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 IoT Core. IoT refers to Internet of Things and it's basically an embedded version of Windows 10. So it would be designed for like say ATMs or pointer ready services and it can also be designed for like low powered motherboards such as the Raspberry Pi. So we're just going to let it load for a bit. So as you can see, once the system has started up, we have our IoT core board specifications. So like we will have our network and IP address information over here, our operating system version, the app version. I'm going to note that with Windows 10 IoT core, there is no possibility in this particular build for a regular desktop interface. So it's just fully and purely Metro. So let's go into the start. Now the weather doesn't work, but we're gonna turn on internet through the virtual machine and we're gonna go and browse the web. So if we click on web browser, it will take us to windowsondevices.com. So as you can see, it takes us to the IoT website so it can be used for basic internet in a way. So for example, it can be used for like survey, survey devices, or it can also be used for like enterprise purposes such as AI. And we also have a Windows Server IoT version. And it also explains IoT solutions. IoT can even be used for like in-app cars. So that's enough browsing the internet for today. Let's click on music. No music found. But if we have any music on the image, obviously it can show up. We have a slideshow. We can't use that without any images, evidently. We have a drawing application, which we can use for like, it's basically a rundown version of Microsoft Paint in a way see if it works maybe we're getting somewhere well at least we can I think you have to click twice so and it also gives us those updates available but that's drawing. Then we also have explore. So we can click on apps. Evidently there's none there. Notifications, nothing. Logs, nothing as well. GitHub, it takes us to the GitHub website and it gives us like some ways to develop, I guess. Smart display, honestly, not sure. I also believe that this version of IoT Core could be used on a tablet interface considering the Metro style as well. Then we have the Windows device portal, which I believe would only work if you actually signed in. But yeah. Now, if we go into the command prompt, which we have over here, we can type in like simple commands like the. We can type in notepad and we'll get nothing because I don't even believe a notepad exists in this version. We can type in directory. We can type in Windows. Well, it looks like changing directory is not supported here. Let's see if we can get notepad. Whoops. System 32, notepad. Notepad is not recognized. But even if we do the whole directory, this is what we get.
Can we find Notepad? Evidently not. But hey, we got so many applications here. Fact meant fact I think. I mean it's it's pretty expected for a slimmed down version of the Windows operating system. Now if we click on here, it will give us our Microsoft sign in, so I think you can sign into a regular Microsoft account. Basically your Outlook account. We can go I forgot to mention also on the bottom right we have our device info which I've censored out the IP address because of security reasons so we can close that we can click over here and it will show it in more detail you can show device info toggle full screen Set default page, quick save log, session log. We can click on session log. And it basically tells the end user all the recent commands and what has been accessed. And we can also quick save the log as well. Now if we go into settings, which we're going to do right now, we have our ETW provided GUID. We have our web browser homepage over here. Slideshow interval. And in fact, we can change the tile colors. So if we change the, all the tiles to like red and add a little bit of black on it. And go back to the start menu. It's now all in red. Now if we go back and change it to say dark green and we go back to start, it's now green. So we're going to go back into settings and we can click on system and it tells you the language and keyboard layout. We'll go on network and Wi-Fi, direct connections, Ethernet. There's also Bluetooth support, I believe, for like certain devices, I guess. We have our app updates, so we can update the IoT Core Metro application. We can even check for updates as well. Download an update, and we can also install once the download is complete. Now over here, we have like a, a back key and forward key, similar to like a browser of some sort. And now finally, we have our power options where we can either shut down the device or restart. So I guess that's it. This was Windows 10 IoT Core. Basically a rundown embedded version of Windows 10. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will also be putting down a link if you want to download and try it out for yourself. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.